So you've started your business, you've already got the ball rolling, and you're already seeing some results, right? But are you really in business for the right reasons? We're going to find out today. Stay tuned to Inspire with Christopher Williams coming up next. Inspired with Christopher Williams is sponsored by Williams Enterprise. Good day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inspired with Christopher Williams. I'm your host, Christopher Williams, navigator and motivator with you on the path to accomplishing your goals and achieving your dreams. You know, that's what we do here. We, we lay the found work, we lay a foundation, and we keep building and building and building. So that's what we're happy to bring you on this show. Thank you, as always, to you guys tuning in to the show. We greatly appreciate all your support, all your feedback. Thank you guys for the kind words, uh, the comments, um, you know, the views. I know a lot of times my friends on Instagram, you guys always have great things to say. Um, even knowing that you just view the show and view the Points of Power segment online means a great deal to me because I truly feel like that that's my purpose, to inspire you to accomplish anything you're trying to accomplish, whether that be business goals, personal goals, or whether you just want to learn something new. You know, sometimes you just want to learn some new things. Thank you to my other friends on social media, Facebook, uh, always uh, Christopher at WilliamsEnterprise.com, Facebook.com slash Williams Inc. And of course, Instagram, Williams underscore Enterprise is always available, always available, available to you. All right. And anybody else you bring with you that want to, you want to tell about the show, let them know. Let them know what we're doing. Let them know what we're trying to move forward. Okay. Let them know what we're getting accomplished. And hey, you never know. You inspire somebody else. They inspire somebody else. And next thing you know, we have a huge movement going on. Okay, so today we're going to continue the Dreams to Reality series. I told you guys this is this, this is kind of my baby on the show. All right, I been, I, I really kind of got a got a vibe about this, and I said, you know, we're going to talk about this, and we're just going to make this happen. So uh, we've been talking and talking and talking about this thing, and we've laid the foundation for you know your business. We've laid the foundation for getting past the roadblocks. We've made sure that we were focused about what we wanted to do, how we wanted to open things up with our business. Now we're going to reevaluate and just make sure we're in, in business for the right reasons, okay? What are your intentions? Okay, why are you in business in the first place? You never know. That could be a different answer from the day you started to, you know, your first couple months in, all right? So we just want to make sure we reevaluate that and we keep that goal in our main focus. We make sure we want to make sure we keep that goal in front of us so that we know what our intentions are. So we're going to talk about a few of those things. We're going to talk about some tools to make sure that you stay on track. And we're going to talk about the fact that it's okay for your intentions to change, all right? Some people get afraid of that kind of thing. You know, all of a sudden, oh, man, I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I want to be in business for this reason. It's okay, all right? One thing we're going to talk about today is the fact that as you grow, sometimes your intentions change. As long as we make sure that we reevaluate, we restructure how we need to restructure, and we continue moving forward. You know, here we're all about progress, right? So we want to make sure that this doesn't stop us, but this is something that we use to push us forward, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when you talk about being intentional, right, what is my intention? Or in our situation, you know, why are we in business? Or the why, the big why, right, capital Y. <laughs> why are we in business in the first place? When you first start out, a lot of times there is something that's immediate. You know, sometimes there's an immediate need at hand. You happen to come across an opportunity, hey, everything's lining up. You have the resources you need. You have people in the right place. You have the right funds, which, trust me, doesn't always happen. <laughs> but you have enough funds, and everything just lines up for you to take advantage of this opportunity that you just happen to stumble upon. Then all of a sudden, boom, you're in business, right? That's fine. You know, sometimes it works out that way. Or your why can be a little bit more um, closer to home. You know, it could be something that's a little bit more emotional for you. Some people, you know, have an opportunity to take advantage of something that they've wanted been do wanting to do for a long time. And then their why is a little different. I've had a lot of people tell me, man, I'm tired of seeing my parents work. I want to retire my parents. I want to make sure my mom or my dad doesn't have to work as hard. So that's why I'm in business. And that's a great why. You know what I'm saying? Because it's emotional, it taps into your emotions, and it's something that you don't really mind doing and working hard for. It. And it's something that's going to make sure you get up or you stay up, right? So that why is fine. 
But what you have to realize is that even though you have an initial why, that why can always change. And that's fine. As you grow, as you learn things, as you unlearn things, because unlearning is just as important as learning sometimes. But as you do these things, sometimes you realize that, well, maybe my intention is a little different. Or maybe my intention is a little bit deeper or not as deep as I thought it was. That's important to remember because sometimes knowing that can determine how much business you do or how long you stay in business. So we always want to think about that why and we always want to make sure that we're not afraid to reevaluate it. Some people are afraid to think about this because they're afraid that they're going to realize that they don't like what they're doing or that they don't want to do it anymore, right? When we talk about short term, right? We talk about short term to long term. Sometimes that short term goal turns into something long term. And that's fine, okay? Some businesses are started off, when they start off, they don't intend to be in business long because their opportunity or what they're looking to do doesn't last long. You know, you think about trucking companies out there, you're thinking about, you know, all of the laws and things that these truckers have to use, but when you, when they initially get that when they initially get their license, one thing they have to do is get fingerprints, right? I know a lot of people that just started up doing fingerprinting, just started because they had a niche, they had an opportunity. They know a lot of truckers, they were right next to a trucking terminal, and they say, you know what, let's open this fingerprinting business. You know, they can get their fingerprints, and once they get their fingerprints, hey, they now can get their license and start driving. But guess what, that's kind of short term, depending on how long you really want to do it. Yeah, I may not feel emotional about doing fingerprinting, or I may not feel a true passion about it, but guess what? It's an opportunity. I know people. I have the resources. I have the equipment. So that's short term, which is fine. When you think about long term, you think about what do you think you have to offer that may be able to change the world. Okay. Remember, we talked about this a couple episodes ago. How do I want to change the world with my idea or what I feel my mission in business is? That's the long term goal. Now, with the long term goals, you have to realize that throughout that time, your true intention may start off being, well, I want to change the world with doing this. Cool. But as you're going on, you may realize, you know what? A lot of kids really like what I have to, t what I have to say. A lot of kids may come up to me telling me they really like what I do. They really enjoy me hearing or enjoy hearing me. Um, and they get a lot out of my speeches or whatever the case may be. So guess what? Now your intention is starting to change, right? It goes from, you know, it may initially just have been making money. A lot of people get in business or start business to make money. But when you realize where your true niche is, now that's a different conversation. And that's fine. So we want to make sure we're doing not only uh, today, but throughout the rest of the time of you either starting that business or you growing your business or you changing the perspective of your business. We want to make sure that that intention is something that we understand and that we're not afraid to change. Okay. So when we're talking about intentions, right, we talk about what is our intention. And you got to remember, we've already talked about the why behind what you're doing. Now, the intention also lines up with that because what you realize is that a lot of times the why is deeper than money, right? Some people go in business intentional on making money, right? What is your intention? To make money. That, that's a generic answer. And that's a, lot of, that's a lot of answers that you find when you hear people a lot of people tell you, hey, if you're not into making money, why are you in business? And that's, under, that's okay, you know, depending on, you know, what kind of person you are, that's fine. But sometimes the why is deeper than money. Now, when I say that, I mean this, is that there has to be something there to keep you doing the work, okay? The thing about doing it for money is that money ain't going to come right away. <laughs> so, if you're doing it for money, your first couple days, sometimes your first couple weeks in business... You really aren't going to make a whole lot of it. So is that a strong enough why? Is that a strong enough intention to keep you going forward? Some people it is because they can see, well, eventually money will come. But some people aren't like that. Well, you know, I no money. I'm try, I wanted to make money, but no money's being made, so why should I even do this anymore? It's fine, okay? That's why we have to figure out what your intention is. Like I said, sometimes it's deeper than money. Not only is your why what keeps you doing the work, but your why is also what gives you justification to be doing any of it, right? We're not just talking about being in business. We're talking about, you know, the days where you just are still up, you know, 15-hour days, still putting in the work, still doing research, still trying to find investors, still 
that's what you have to remember because if your why is that strong it's going to give you justification no matter whatever you come across right you may have days in business where if you're selling something you don't get anybody that buys right that's very common okay if you're offering a service you may have no one that seems to want what you have to offer right that's very common too but if your why is strong enough to justify you still doing what you do whether you're making money or whether you're not making money then your intentions are right okay I remember when I first started my why and my intentions were a little different you know of course you want to make money you want to get out there you want to be your own boss you want to you know all these you know all these cliche terms that those are very true but my why and my intention did change you know when I first started my idea was you know what I want to help other entrepreneurs I want to get out there and help people realize that they can be their own boss and you know open their own business and that's great but what I realized was that there are so many people out there that were like me right and when I say like me I mean didn't really have a lot of money for college didn't even know if I was going to finish college because of money and at the same time wasn't really sure if there was any job out there that I really would want to even do, right? I mean, who thinks of finishing college and, and working more for the rest of their lives? That's not the thought you have when you graduate. You think of being happy. You think of being successful. But you really don't always think of what that is until you finish college. So I say, you know what? There may be other people out there like me. When I say that, I say, well, you know, I really don't know if there's a career out there that I really would want to do. But I do know I like creating something that gives pe gives somebody more value. But at the same time, how can you reach the point that I am at if you don't have any money at all? So when I changed my intention, I said, you know what? I want to reach out to people who don't always have the money, who don't always have the resources, who don't always have somebody in our life to guide them the way they need. But I want to be able to reach out to them and give them the resources that they need to become their own version of an entrepreneur and I want it to be something that they don't have to pay a whole lot of money to get. Okay? So now my why has changed, right? My why is a little different than it was when I started out. But guess what? It gives me justification for the days where I have to stay up and do edits and the days that I'm out there talking to people. It gives me justification. And that's okay. Because now, even though my why has changed, I feel like my intentions are that much stronger about what I do and why I do it. Meet Shelly. She can make a Labradoodle look like, well, either one. And she's a marketer. Shelly uses constant contact email to spread the word about her services, whether it's staying in touch with her regular customers or reaching brand new ones. It works for Shelly, and her clients are delighted. Shelly's a marketer, and all it took was constant contact. Try it free. Visita provides a complete business calendar, fully integrated with your client scheduling experience. You can view and manage your daily schedule and any upcoming meetings, and most importantly, schedule new appointments and follow-ups with your clients. Using Visita Calendar for client scheduling will save you time and deliver a better service to your clients. Visita Calendar automatically syncs with your existing calendar on Google, Outlook, iPhone, and more. Welcome back to Inspire with Christopher Williams. I want to take the time to thank our sponsors for helping make the show possible. We bring you guys such great content, such content that's full of meaning and full of purpose. And we really couldn't imagine um, not having to be having the opportunity to bring this to you guys. And our sponsors are who make that possible. So thank you to our sponsors. And thank you to anybody out there considering sponsoring the show. Um, it's a great movement that we have here and we would love to have you a part of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. And thank you again to our sponsors for helping us out. Today's point of power is, is your heart in it? Is your heart in it? You know, a lot of times we're out here and society tells us that we have to make a certain amount of money before we consider it to be making it. Or we have to be in a certain industry or we have to have a business about something specific. Uh, but the idea is that, you know, if your heart's not in what you do, then the true essence of what that is, you know, doesn't even exist. It's going to be lost, right? You have to remember that when your heart's in something, 
that ties into your time, that ties into not only your gift, but your talent, and also your money, okay? So when your heart's in something, you find yourself working on it, you find yourself not worrying about how long it takes, not worrying about, as, or worrying as much about how much it costs, but you worry about the legacy that it's going to leave and the legacy that you're going to leave. So it's not always about money, okay? Money only takes you so far when it comes to building something of importance. Your heart has to be in it too. You have to make sure that if you're out there and you're thinking about, well, man, you know, everybody else is out there making so much more money than me, right? If that's your whole purpose, then there may be some days where you truly don't get a chance to get anything done because you're so depressed about it, right? But if your heart's in something, you don't really think about how much money you're making. You think about how successful you're becoming and what you're doing. So just remember, if your heart's in it, you're not so much worried about how much you're going to be making or how much anybody else is making more than you. But what you're worried about is how strong your mission is and truly who's going to be getting what from what you're doing. Okay? So just make sure whatever you're doing, whatever goal you're trying to accomplish, whatever business you're trying to open, just make sure your heart's in it. Anytime I don't feel that my heart's in something, I truly try not to do it because I know I'm not going to give my best at it. But if my heart's in something, then I'm going to give my best at it. I'm going to make sure that I follow through on any kind of you know goals or deadlines. And I'm going to make sure that the outcome is truly a reflection of me and my brand. So just keep that in mind. If your heart's in it, just make sure that you're not worrying about what anybody else is doing. All right, because people are always going to be doing other things, right? They're always some, somebody's always going to be making more money than you. Somebody's always going to be, you know, looking better than the next person or acting different than the next person. But what you have to remember and what you have to focus on is the what the job you're doing and making sure that your heart's in it as well. I want to thank you guys for tuning into the show today. As always, we had a great time. We laid the foundation for some great work, some exciting things. And I'm truly excited about seeing what you guys end up doing. You know, I'm, I watch you guys just as much as you watch me because I know that when you make it, you may be able to say, you know, that episode of Inspire really helped me out. I appreciate it. And, that, and that's what brings me joy. That's what makes me happy. So don't, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Christopher at OneWilliamsEnterprises.com, Facebook.com slash Williams Inc., uh, Instagram, uh, Williams underscore Enterprises. Always catch the other episodes on BizLinks TV. Uh, any past episodes that you may have missed or episodes that you may just want to review just to see if you can get a little bit extra out of it because trust me there's a lot in these shows that you may need more maybe one or two views to get so don't don't be afraid to do that okay hey until next time stay inspired <laughs>